to talk about organizational strategies. Um, I have placed uh, a memory stick or a flash drive into my computer. This one happens to be Memorex and I'm going to access that so that I can take some of the files that I've downloaded from the internet and place them on there. So I'm going to go to my start menu and run and mine happens to be the G drive. I have another uh, flash drive that I use, it's the F drive. Um, my husband on his computer, it's the E drive. On my computer, the E drive is my um, CD-ROM drive. So your computer may be different. Don't panic when this happens. It will audit come up automatically. So in this case, mine is the G drive. I'm just going to hit OK. And you can see I had already installed it. And when I first put it in, down here in this area here, it says that it was installing drivers. That's perfectly normal. I just x that out, and that's what, I, um, what happened. So I've put a few categories in here. I have animals, I have bugs and butterflies, fantasy, people. And what I need to do now is open some of my files and decide where I'm going to store them in here. So I'm going to go to my Start mem menu and um, I'm going to go up to, I'm sorry, Documents and I'm having my, my program for some reason, my computer for some reason is delaying today. I don't know what's going on with it. So I'm going to go to Vicky and then I'm going to go down to where it says Downloads. I'm going to double click on it and these are a lot of the different things that I had downloaded from the Puzzles Craft Room and various places I've been on the internet. So I need to open one of these um, and I'm purposely going to choose something that I do not have a file set for. So let's see what I can find here. Something different. Um, here's one that is a cityscape. So I'm going to open that one. So I'm going to double click on it. You hear me sniffling because my allergies acting up. So please forgive me. This is going to open my Puzzles craft room. I have it set up as an administrator, so it's asking if I can allow this, and I'm saying yes. I'm clicking on allow, and now I have to wait for Puzzles to open up with this um, particular file opening in it. I don't even remember where I got it from, whether that was from the craft room or one of you had posted it somewhere. So please forgive me if you see your file and I'm not citing where it's at, because I honestly don't remember. These are so old. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now, oops, I forgot, the tip of the day came up. I don't want to even be bothered with that right now. I'm going to hit close. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this, and it says break group. That tells me that it's already grouped, and that's what I want. Um, if I was going to use this, like say if I'm going to a crop this weekend and I don't want to take my flash drives with me because I don't want to lose them, then I usually save these in my image gallery. I don't use my image gallery all the time because I think it just bogs down the memory on my computer for me because my computer is getting older now. Um, and let's see, where would I save it in one of these categories? I don't see a place to save it in one of these categories, so I need to make one. So I'm going to organize it in my blue book and then I'll organize it on my flash drive. In my blue book I'm going to hit create and I'll just put buildings. Okay, and now I have to look for where buildings is, there it is. So I'm going to click on it until it's highlighted, go over to add, and I just added that image into this file. So I'll double click on it and there it is. Okay, so I'm going to X out because I don't need to be bothered with that anymore. Now I want to save it on my flash drive. So I'm going to go to File and hit Save As. Okay, now it's coming up showing downloads because that's where I just got the file from. It goes, it automatically goes to the last place that you were at. I don't want to go there. I want to go to computer. Otherwise, I'm saving this right back onto the place where I just got it from. So I'm going to go to computer. And I'm looking for that G drive, which is Memorex in my case. Yours might be something different. So I'm going to double click on this. Okay. Now, like I said, I don't have a category. I don't want to save it under animals. I don't want to save it under bugs and butterflies, fantasy, or people. So what I'm going to do in this blank space here, or you can even do it like off to the edge when yours gets full, I'm going to right click 
and then where it says new I'm going to click on folder and it just made me a new folder and on that I'm going to type in building buildings okay now I'm going to left click off of it to get out of it and it's opening up to the folder it's called buildings I think I just misspelled it which is okay because I'll show you how to fix that too so it says cityscape WPC I'm going to hit save and now I know that it's in there I also want to make a photo of this so that when I go to look at them I'll know exactly what I'm getting so I'm going to go to export okay and it says import and it says JPEG this has to say JPEG that's correct this is already highlighted I don't want it to say import because all of them will say import then what I do is I go right up here in this area and I look to see what it says and then that's what I type in so I'm going to type in city scape as one word if I separate it it won't stay together you gotta do it exactly the way you see it and I'm going to hit save okay resolution is set at 50 that's fine for my purposes and I'm just going to hit OK now if you want to share this with people who do not have WPC files but they can use PDF files here's something else that you can do um, I'm going to hit file and this is going to be incorrect I'm just letting you know that from the get-go because I want to show you how to correct it um, I'm gonna hit print preview and you'll say print preview why would I hit print preview I'm not printing it actually it did fit in there it surprised me um, as long as you can see the whole image is in here then you're okay so you're gonna hit print but it's not going to print it shows Kodak I don't want Kodak I'm going to click on here and look for this other file that you can get for free on the internet it's called cute PDF writer all you have to do is Google it download it and it'll come onto your computer as a printer but it's not a printer it just allows you to save your files as PDFs so that you can share them with other people so I'm going to click on that and hit OK and that's the timer showing me that I went through nine minutes so please ignore that so I have saved all these files onto my Memorex. I'm going to go and look at it. Oh, no, I didn't. I forgot. The PDF one came up. And I have the categories bugs and butterflies from the last one I saved there. So I need to change this, go to Memory G, and I need to look for my buildings, which I still need to correct the spelling on. And I'm going to hit Open and Save. So I know that that's in there okay so as you can see I spelled buildings wrong and I don't like that those things bug me so I'm going to highlight it right click on it and hit rename and I'm just gonna put an L in there and now I'm happy I'm gonna click off of it oh oh because I, I have it open I'll have to do that later because I'm using it someplace else which was we're saving it here I'm going to double click but that's how you would do it though when you're not using it when you open it up you can double, you can um, right click on it hit rename and then respell it or change the title entirely so I'm going to double click on it and you can see all three files are here but you can't see the view so I'm going to hit the view button hit large like I said my computer's going slow I need a new computer um, and there it is and so now I have saved it and I'm gonna back it up and show my different categories so that when I'm at a crop if I do take my flash drives even if I'm working at home I can save everything I take off of the internet and put it in these different categories that I've made so that I can understand them and know where to find my files now you see buildings B comes is after the P I don't like that so I'm just going to left click on this bar and I'm going to put it let's see G U G yeah, it should be right there okay and like I said I'll have to change the spelling on that so that's how you do it it's as simple as that and now you know how to how I organize my files and for those of you that are new to this now you know a way that you can organize your files I hope that this has helped have a great day until our next video bye